Um, talk to me about today. Happy? Yeah, it was great fun. Um, and I would have loved to have got the win, but um, just didn't get the tactics right um, on the last lap. The first three laps were great, like was in the right places, um, but just was kind of wide on that last lap and someone snuck up the inside, but um, it was a good competitive race. Do you know, like the last couple of years, especially last year, you looked like you were running frustrated, were you? Yeah, definitely. And like that's why at the end of last season, I was like, look, we've got to do something different. Um, fresh start and so made the move out to San Diego and I'm loving being out there with Terrence and training with the boys and stuff so definitely in a, in a lot better place. I've seen some of your Instagram posts, some strange ones, snow on the floor but sun in the sky, <laughs> totally different setting. Talk to me about adjusting to all of that. Yeah, like it's been great fun, um, been out there since the middle of December so yeah I'm just loving it, like loving having a coach there 20, like 24 seven and chasing the boys in sessions so yeah nothing to complain about training with a smile on your face right yeah absolutely like that's what it's about at the end of the day is having fun so um i've definitely made the right decision in terms of lifestyle as well as competing i was gonna say adjusting to a new setting is one thing new training techniques and other things a lot that you've had to kind of take on board what's been the difficulty in, in doing that and on what's been easy about it yeah it was it was definitely a big decision to make with like a big year coming up but um there's never the, the right time or, the, or a good time to do that. And I would always have looked back and thought, like, what if I didn't do it? So it's just a, a risk that I have to take. And hopefully in six weeks' time, it will have paid off. What do you expect from yourself in six weeks' time? So we're talking Commonwealth Games, of course. What's the target? Yeah, obviously a medal. Um, I think it's going to be a really interesting one with it being in April. And they've taken away the semi-finals as well. So um, it's just Heat's final two days in a row. So I'm really excited to see where everyone's at. Um, because some people haven't raced indoors at all, so it's going to be really interesting. Was that an easy decision for you to make in terms of how you structured your season? Yeah, like I said, I think a year ago that I wasn't going to do world indoors. Um, I just for me, it's quite a lot to do three champs in a year. So um, unfortunately, one of them had to take the hit, and I was never going to miss Commonwealth. <laughs> what? Because it's in Australia. <laughs> I hear you. I'm going, and I'm, I'm not. I'm not missing it for that reason. I compete for Scotland very often, and with the opportunity to potentially do a four by four as well, was a, was a huge part of it for me. So. What do you do after this event here then? What, do you go back to San Diego? Or? San Diego, yeah, and then fly into Australia from LA. So, very brief trip over here. Awesome, man. Thanks for your time. Well done today. See you soon. <laughs> Thank you.